OpenAI has just released the GPT store for ChatGPT. So we can now use this GPT store in order to find popular and useful versions of ChatGPT that other users have made. Now there were rumors that you'd be able to be compensated for how much your GPT was actually used and the engagement on your GPT. Now they have not yet released payments on these GPTs. So you can't necessarily make money right now, although they say that's coming in quarter one. But what can we do as users and builders of these GPTs in order to position ourselves in a way that helps us make money when the feature of payments does roll out for engagement on your GPT? Well, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a successful GPT today. And I'm also going to dive into all of the new update notes that have come out that I think are very important to mention, and also just some good things to keep in mind with this new chat GPT update. Let's dive into it. So if we take a look at this blog that OpenAI released, it says we're launching the GPT store to help you find useful and popular versions of chat GPT. So now when you go to ChatGPT's website, when you want to use ChatGPT, if you are a Plus Teams or Enterprise user, you can now see this new GPT database with public GPTs that other users have created. As you can see, now when I go to Explore GPTs, over on my sidebar here, this page pops up where I can search through different categories of different GPTs that other users have created. And this is just a wonderful experience. You know, you can start to get involved in the community. You can search public GPTs that have also been created up here. So this is pretty cool. And what you're going to notice is that a lot of these plugin apps that created chat GPT plugins are also creating GPTs, such as the consensus GPT that was made by consensus. This allows you to search 200 million academic papers and get science-based answers as well as accurate citations. So this is very cool. They do have a plugin but now they have a GPT which is available, which is awesome. Now this is straight from OpenAI. It says new featured GPTs every week. We will highlight useful and impactful GPTs. And then it gives some of its featured list in the GPTs. So I'm assuming that it will be very good if you can position yourself to get on this featured list. If you can be one of these featured GPTs, then in the future, I am sure you will be compensated by OpenAI very well. Now that's just speculation, but the question is how do we get to that featured spot? You know, how do we get to these curated top picks from this week? Well, I think there's a couple things to keep in mind, and I'm going to share that with you a little later, but first let me dive into the rest of the update notes and blog posts made by OpenAI. So it says, include your GPT in the store. Building your own GPT is simple and doesn't require any coding skills, which is great. You know, you can just use the GPT builder and you can build a GPT in basically about five minutes. And then it says, save your GPT for everyone. Verify your builder profile. It's very simple. All you have to do is build your GPT, make it public and verify your profile. They make it very simple for you to get started. And you can probably do this in about 15 to 20 minutes. But as we scroll down, you can see that it says builders can earn based on GPT usage. And it says in Q1, we will launch a GPT builder revenue program. As a first step, US builders will be paid based on user engagement with their GPTs. We'll provide details on the criteria for payments as we get closer. So OpenAI is starting to roll out this payment plan in quarter one. It's not yet released, but we need to be able to position ourselves in a way that when it is released, we have a great GPT that could potentially get some revenue through user activity. So how do we make money after we build our chat GPTs? Well, all the details aren't specific, but I do know one thing. And right now we know that it's based off user engagement. So how long can you keep users on your GPT? How many users can you drive to your GPT? Or how many users can you organically gain from the GPT store to that GPT in order to make a revenue. These are important things to think about before people are earning revenue. How can you position yourself in order to have sufficient traffic and in order to have a successful GPT to make that money? We all have to step back and become entrepreneurs for a second. We have to think, how can our product, which in this case is a GPT, how can this product either entertain a crowd or provide value to a crowd or actual utility that will help a crowd. If you have one of these things and it's actually entertaining or it's actually valuable, then you're already in a much better spot to potentially make money with your GPT. Now, the thing is there are already over 3 million GPTs created. So you can't just provide good value and have good entertainment, but you've got to be unique. What unique ways can you use your GPT or build your GPT that stands out from the crowd? And how are you going to drive traffic to it? What's going to be your traffic source to get your GPTs known? Are you going to post them on Facebook? Are you going to upload them to Instagram? Are you going to make a YouTube channel like mine in order to drive traffic to your GPTs to start making some money? These are the things you have to start thinking about. Organically gaining 
engagement on your GPTs is going to be very difficult. With this new update, there's going to be so much hype and traffic driving to those keywords for making money with GPTs. If you could position yourself in a way that you are the best GPT creator in your space and you can let people engage with your already created GPTs to see how they work and how you've created them, then that's going to be engagement to your GPT, which in turn will probably increase it organically within the GPT store. Now, this is all speculation, but these are the things you have to start thinking about ahead of time in order to be successful, right? How are you going to drive traffic to that GPT in order to make money? I can tell you one thing, it will not be done organically unless you get on the featured list somehow, which is only like four GPTs out of three million. I mean, you've got to have some traffic and you have to have a really, really unique idea if you want to get on that featured list, I'm assuming. And it has to be that valuable that OpenAI itself says, hey, we want to put this GPT on the featured list. For example, take a look at this unique checklist protocol that I've designed in ChatGPT that I haven't released to the public yet that I'm planning on releasing to the public. This ensures consistency and completeness in carrying out tasks, reducing errors, and increasing efficiency in the problem-solving process. All I have to do is hit initiate checklist protocol, and it's going to walk users through a unique checklist protocol in order to engineer their day in the most efficient way possible, and it's helping them create their checklist. Now, have you ever thought about your checklist needing to be efficient? What time should you do the laundry based on energy levels in the morning or afternoon or at night versus when you should actually do your blogging or your work or whatever kind of work you do? You can engineer your day in an efficient way based on energy levels. And this is what this protocol is taking people through. Now a checklist is just a checklist, right? But I'm kind of creating this blue ocean, a non-contested market because I don't see anybody thinking about energy levels and engineering checklists. So I'm kind of creating a problem that wasn't already there. I'm redefining market boundaries and I'm saying, hey, you're not engineering your checklist in the right way. You need to be thinking about how your body feels in relation to the tasks you're doing if you want to be productive and efficient in your life. Now, this is an example of creating a unique product. It's something that's been tested, checklists work, but what's a problem that I can create within checklists that didn't previously exist? I'm making a new market. I'm not tapping into these saturated markets with GPTs that everybody has already created. I'm thinking outside the box and the beautiful thing is you have ChatGPT in your hands. Create GPTs from ChatGPT. Get ideas from ChatGPT on how to create unique versions of things that are already working. And then you need to push traffic to that in order to get an initial bump. So ChatGPT is thinking, hey, there's a lot of users kind of using this already. Let me put it higher on a certain list or let me feature this, right? These are things you need to be thinking about. And this update is pretty cool and all, but it's not going to be that cool unless you really utilize the revenue sharing aspect of it and you get revenue for the things you're creating in ChatGPT. Because let's face it, you're a creative person. I know you are. And this could be an opportunity, something you can do in order to make a little side income. Even if this was just a $100 a month side hustle for you from creating a little something on ChatGPT, it'd be worth it, right? There will be a crowd that's going to capitalize on this and I would love it to be you. So I have a video on how to create good GPTs. I have an entire workflow on creating a GPT. You can watch that video in the upper right-hand corner if you really want to learn how to create successful GPTs that actually work. I give you a prompt template. Or you can do something like join my chat GPT mastery course. There's over an hour of footage in there of me building a really good GPT that's very unique, has a lot of custom actions, and it runs you through everything you need to know. Users who are already in this course have gotten ahead because they've went through the creating GPTs modules and they learned what are GPTs, creating a basic GPT, configuring your GPT. This is 17, actually 18 minutes of me configuring my GPT, going through everything in the configure section and adding knowledge to GPTs, how you can upload files, PDFs, adding actions to GPTs, and then I give you resources down here. This is a 25 minute module on making your GPT that much better. So people who are in this community already have a jump start. And the good thing is payments haven't rolled out yet. That's when all the oversaturated hype is going to come is when OpenAI is actually giving money away, right? That's when all the hype is actually going to come is when OpenAI releases its revenue sharing program. But right now you sit in a very powerful position. You know, the GPT store is out, but it's really nothing that special. It's almost just like plugins built into chat GPT. What's really special is the ability to make money. And that's what we want to focus on. So in order to recap my thoughts on this GPT update, First, you need to have an idea. You need to redefine market boundaries. You need to create a blue ocean. Create a problem that doesn't really exist that is very useful. For example, my energy levels with my checklist on you should be doing certain tasks at other parts of the day based on energy levels and the way your body feels and how long you slept. 
uh, engineer a checklist around your day in order to make your life more efficient. You know, that's that wasn't really a problem before, but I've made it a problem and now it's grabbing people's attention. It's unique, but it's something that's proven to work. Next, you need a traffic source to drive initial traffic to your GPT. Even if it's only 10 or 20 people, you're going to be ahead of those who aren't getting any traffic at all and are completely relying on organic search through the OpenAI store. That simply will not work. So you need some initial traffic. You can share your GPTs. For example, people in my community will share their GPTs to the community. Other users will use them. That will be an initial source traffic, which is kind of cool. And the third thing is you just need to learn how to create a GPT in general. If you haven't yet, Watch that video that I recommended earlier, or you can join the course and learn everything about GPTs and how other members are using them in the community as well. With that being said, this update, although seemingly big, is not that crazy, right? We can now view GPTs publicly, which is awesome, but no revenue sharing yet. So let's focus on the future. Let's focus on making that money. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you gained some value from it. Remember, creating value in the market or providing a good source of entertainment in a unique, craftful way is going to be the way that you make money with GPTs on OpenAI's GPT store. Become an entrepreneur for a second. Start thinking of ideas. Use ChatGPT to help you brainstorm. I have a ton of videos on brainstorming in ChatGPT as well. You can watch my three brainstorming methods that I do up there. Maybe that can give you some ideas for creating a unique business idea, right? Business idea for your GPT in order to start making some money. Traffic is going to be huge as we went over. So I hope this helped you. Start planning now while everyone is waiting for the revenue sharing to come out. Be ahead of the game and get your creativity flowing and your creative ideas in the door before the revenue sharing starts. Hope this video helped. Please drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Comment below letting me know your feedback and how you are going to be capitalizing on these GPTs. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.